Everyone talks about marketing to your contacts, but how do you actually get to them? Let's talk about forms and how to use them to convert visitors into leads. 50% of marketers say inbound marketing strategies, such as on-site forms, are their primary source of leads. But 63% of them also say it's their biggest marketing challenge. We can confirm that forms are a great way to capture leads for most businesses, but you can't just throw them on your site and expect them to roll in. So let's quickly talk about what a form is, when you should use one, and how to build one, and build one well so that people want to fill out their information and convert. Also, what about landing pages? Forms and landing pages are like best friends, right? Sometimes. I'll cover what a landing page is, when it makes sense to use one, when it makes sense to add a form, as well as how to go about building one. So let's get into it. Forms can be a major asset for your business. They can help you collect and manage information very efficiently and require almost no maintenance after you have them set up. This means your forms can be working in the background and helping you grow your contact base so you can focus on marketing, sales, and your core business functions. You can use forms for a ton of things, but here are some examples. First, surveying or quizzing to learn about your contacts and what they want. Secondly, registrations for webinars or courses to establish your business as a trusted brand and thought leader. You also could share downloadable resources, schedule meetings or consultations, and of course, have them order products or services. Most importantly, no matter what format you decide is right for your business, the goal is to capture contact information and preferences to grow your email marketing list. Once they click submit, they have officially converted from a site visitor into a lead. But as we know, getting that form in front of the right audience and enticing them to submit it can be difficult. So here's a crash course on building forms. Today, we will be building in the Active Campaign Form Builder, but we also integrate with other great form builders such as Gravity Forms, Typeform, and Jotform. So you can check out our apps page to see if your favorite form builder is included there. To create a form in Active Campaign, you will first need to navigate to the site tab in your navigation bar. From here, you will choose Forms from the secondary navigation. This will be your Forms homepage. From here, click the Create a Form button on the top right of your screen. This will bring up the Form Building pop-up to get you started. First, add a name for your new form. Then you have your first big decision. What kind of form are you looking to create? You have four types to decide between in Active Campaign. First, the inline form. This form appears within the content of your website. This would be a form type that you might use for a landing page or a contact us form. You could also build a floating bar form. This form appears as a persistent strip at the top or bottom of your web page. This form is a great way to encourage contacts to input their information and subscribe throughout their time on your page. Then we have a floating box form, similar in functionality to the floating bar, but different in style. A floating box form appears in the corner of the browser window. It's noticeable, but it doesn't cover much content. This form is also a great way to capture new visitors' attention and some new contacts from site visits. And lastly, we have the modal form. This appears in the center of the browser window. It creates a layer on top of the page and slightly dims the background so the form stands out. This form is a bit more in your face and a lot of times you may have experienced is used to promote a deal promotion or a first visit savings opportunity. Because we want to capture more information about our contacts than just their name and email, today we are going to build out an inline form. 
Which leads us to our next big decision before designing our form in the form builder, which is what actions do we want to occur when somebody submits this form? You also have four options of different actions this form can trigger. Adding a tag to this contact record, adding a contact to a deal in a CRM, emailing the results to you or your team members, and subscribing this new contact to a list or multiple lists. You can add as many different actions as you would like, all to occur at once when a contact submits this form. You can also update actions and add more actions to your form during the form creation process or even after it's published. Now you can press create and start customizing the design of your new form. If you're interested in learning more about how to customize your forms using the active campaign drop and drag builder, you can check out our video called let's learn forms for a full strategy and platform deep dive. But today we want to focus on where you want to embed this form once you have it customized for your business. With an active campaign inline form, you have five different embedding options. These are simple embed code. The simple embed code uses JavaScript. Any change you make to your form in your active campaign account will automatically appear wherever this form is published. You also have the full embed code. The full embed code uses CSS and HTML. Any change you make to your form in your active campaign account will not appear where the form is published. To publish any of the changes you've made, you'll need to repaste this code onto the site. You also have link. This is a direct link to your form. You can share this link with potential subscribers so they can complete and submit your form. The link generated by Active Campaign will take you to a page built and hosted by Active Campaign solely used to showcase your form. It's a great idea to share this link in the bio of your business social media accounts so your followers and visitors have a direct link to subscribing to your business and becoming a contact. You also have WordPress. You can use this option to publish the form to your WordPress site using the Active Campaign WordPress plugin. This really can help streamline your form building and publishing process. And Facebook. You can use this option to publish the form to your Facebook page. Where and how you embed your form plays a huge role in your contact's ability to find and actually submit the information that you are asking for. So be sure to embed your forms on high traffic pages. Now, we definitely cannot have a complete conversation about how to convert website visitors into contacts without talking about landing pages. Using landing pages with your marketing campaigns can help boost lead generation, sell products, and trigger automated workflows. For growing businesses, the Active Campaign Pages feature, or any landing page builder, is going to help you create on-brand, high-converting landing pages in minutes with easy to customize templates and an intuitive builder. The pages feature lives under the same site tab of your main navigation bar right next to your forms. A landing page is a standalone web page that individuals land on when they click a link from somewhere online, such as a social post, an ad, or an email. Because of this, landing pages should be designed for a single action that you are promoting where that link lives. You can think of a landing page like a pharmacy drive through at a larger store. They sell a ton of things in that store, but when you drive up to that window, you are there to do one thing, get your prescription. For businesses, landing pages should include actions such as submitting a form, subscribing to a list, making a purchase, downloading a file, or registering for an event. The key here is that Pages gives you the opportunity to share additional information about your offer, and the form or button is present to help initiate that offer by capturing that contact's information. If this seems like something you would like to use for your business, you can check out our full video on everything Pages called Let's Learn Pages. But in the meantime, here's your crash course on building a page in the Active Campaign Builder. 
From the same site tab that you navigated to to access your forms homepage, you will find your pages homepage. On this page, you can create a new page by clicking add a new page. This will then prompt you with the decision to choose a template to start with or build a custom page. You can preview any template before choosing to use it. To do so, you can click the preview option that appears when you hover over the template. From here, you can see how the template looks on both desktop and mobile. If you find a template you want to use, you can hover over it and click use this template. Or you can always click the blank option instead to start fresh. Once you decide, the template will load in the page builder and a rename page modal will appear. Type the name of your new page into the field provided and then click save. Now you can start customizing your new page. Again, if you want to explore the strategy and full demo of how to build a page in ActiveCampaign, you can check out our video called Let's Learn Pages. Now let's go through how to add a form to this landing page. Having a form present on your page will help you generate leads and grow your email marketing list. You can add any form you create in your ActiveCampaign account to any ActiveCamp page with the embed block. In order to do so, you will need to retrieve the form's simple embed code from the integrate page after completing your form and then add it to the embed block on your page. Once you have your embed code, you will need to delete the placeholder text from the editor. This is located in between the two paragraph tags. Then you can paste the simple embed form code that you just grabbed in between the two paragraph tags. Once you click save, you are all set. Adding a form to your website requires a similar process, but you will need to do this on your website builder. Once you have your form embedded on your page or website, you will start collecting contact information, which you can use to kick off their customer experience via marketing automations. To make sure that your customer's experience starts off right, here are five best practices to consider when setting up your forms and pages. First, try to keep your forms short and sweet. By being as direct as possible and only asking for the information necessary to start that context journey, there is a high chance that people will actually fill out and submit that form. Second, be clear about why you are asking for the information that you are. Being transparent with your visitors will kick off your relationship on a great note. Third, use the style options to have your form or page match your business's branding. This is a content lead generator for your business, and it should look like it belongs to your brand. And if you are using this as part of a campaign, make sure the messaging and the branding matches that campaign. So when they land on the page or they go to a form, they know they're in the right place. Fourth, it is a great idea to organize your form fields from easiest to hardest. Once your visitors have filled out some easy fields like name and email address, they are less likely to leave without completing the rest of the form that they're in the middle of. And last but not least, it is a great idea to have automated journeys set up for your contacts to be added to when they submit their information. This is to nurture them into buying as well as weed out those who are merely kicking the tires. We have a ton of free automation templates to import directly into your account and customize for your business. But here are a few that would be great to kick off a customer journey after a form submission. First, a welcome drip series. In this automation, your new contacts are sent a series of three emails, welcoming them to your contact list and introducing your business in more detail. If a contact reaches the end of this automation and has opened and engaged with your messaging, they will be tagged as onboarded to denote that they finished the series and are now ready for the next steps in their customer journey. You could also consider the welcome coupon campaign recipe. Nothing says welcome more than a sweet deal. 
You can use this welcome coupon campaign to greet new customers with unique discount vouchers created by Voucherfy and distributed via Active Campaign. And lastly, the Nurture Series Win Tagged Recipe. If you have an action set up for your form submission that is add a tag, this recipe could be a great option for you to start nurturing and engaging your contacts from the moment they submit that form and receive that tag. There are so many free recipes that are ready to import and utilize immediately, so make sure to check out our marketplace to find your next automation. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and check out some of our other content on forms and pages like what is a landing page, how do landing pages work, using the form recipe to create segments, and landing page best practices, the rule of one. Happy automating!